You see, I made the mistake to think that because it was it looked easy, that it was actually easy. But you guys in business, business owners, it's your job and your duty to make your clients and customers feel that what you do comes easy to you. Okay, you guys saw the hook shot that I made. Looked easy, right? It looked easy. Like I just stepped up, whoop, went in. But one thing you don't know is the pressure that I was under at that particular game. I shot that shot in every game that I played. But that particular game was in my home country. I'm originally from Panama City, Panama. It was in front. We had not played there in over 30 years. So now here I come. The only Panamanian that's ever been a member of the Harlem Globetrotters. The only Latino that was the leader of the team. Now, a few of you guys look confused. Yes, I am black. Yes, I'm Latino. You can be both. <laughs> but, but I'll save that for another keynote, okay? But there was tremendous pressure, okay? The precedent was there. The precedent of the country was there. 10,000 people were there, friends, families. And I walked up to that line, and I made it look easy and made it in one shot. But one thing you guys don't know is that I practice that shot every single day. Late at night, early in the morning, lunchtime, before games, after games. There were times that I practiced so much that I couldn't lift my arm up above my shoulders. But my thought was I have to go in there and make it look easy for my fans, my clients, my customers. I wanted to make it look easy so they can walk out of there and say, that was awesome. I have to come back. Repeat business. This is how this relates to you. Your customers, your clients, make it look easy. Repeat business. Now, Practice helped me tremendously. However, I had some coaches that helped me while I practiced. I used to drag them. Sometimes they dragged me. I needed someone to help me reach the goals that I set for myself. Nobody else set them for me. I set it for myself. I said, I want to be one of the best Harlem Globetrotters ever. I want to make that hook shot at an incredible percentage. And in order to do that, I have to practice, and I needed a coach to hold me accountable, a coach to make sure that I was doing it right, that I wasn't just practicing, that I was practicing the right form to give me a better chance of making more shots. So my question to you guys is, you guys know your field. You guys are good at what you do, but do you have somebody in your corner that helps you the times you don't want to get up, the times you don't want to read that book. You have somebody that tells you, hey, hey, what's going on? You, you told me you was going to have this book written or this book read by October. Well, what's going on? So that's why I made sure that I had that. Now, Tommy didn't give me much time because he knows I can be up here for over an hour talking and talking. But I wanted to share that message with you guys. Make sure that you invest in yourself. If you do not invest in yourself, you're cheating yourself. By investing in yourself, you're gonna be that much better. Your client retention would go up. Your knowledge would go up in your industry and you're gonna make it look very easy. Repeat business. If I go to Tommy to buy a home, and he makes the process easy. Next time I'm buying a home, I'm going to Tommy. Next time I hear somebody's buying a home, I'm sending them to Tommy. You can do the same for your business. I don't care what industry you're in. 